go into a Tuesday. It's 34 degrees and still cloudy. We're going to blow those clouds out of here eventually and get some sunshine on the backside of the day today. Winds are at six miles an hour. It feels like it is below freezing at 29 degrees along the Great Snake River. There's Jackson where yet we're beginning to clear out there. Still overcast at the airport. It's 32. Feels like it's 29 and the sun will go down tonight right around 830. The days are getting longer and you're going to enjoy the sunshine. I promise for the next several days and we're going to warm up quite significantly until the cold front pushes through again at the end of the weekend. 36 in Pocatello. It feels like it's 30 right now along 15 at the Clark Street exit. We've got 35 degrees in Chalice. It's 27 in Salmon, though. A bit of a chill in 26 in Ledore. Freezing in Ketchum and freezing uh, just about in Driggs at 33. Pocatello, Blackfoot all in there in the mid 30s where we're going to we're going to try and double that temperature by about Thursday and into uh, Friday. We should be closer to 80 degrees. Winds out of the south southwest for the majority of people this morning in the snow. River Plain. For those of you within the sound of my face, uh, variable breezes out of the north and the west, and everything will calm down because high pressure is just going to just land right on top of us, just like a big jello mold. There it is. Yep. And uh, you hadn't thought about that since Christmas, have you? <laughs> jello is good at any time, especially cold. Uh, and then we'll uh, have lots of sunshine blowing through here, too. That's a good summertime snack. Here we go. Clearing out, and a few clouds remain, but mainly sunshine blowing through here. And then we're going to see into the afternoon a few patchy clouds. But I don't think you have too much to worry about because it's better than yesterday. Yesterday was just atrocious. And then you have a full moon on top of it, and everybody just starts acting a fool. Does that make sense? It just get, everybody gets a little wonky. 46 for after this afternoon, 50 in Montpelier, 56 in Preston. It'll be 59 in Malad. We're still in the 20s and 30s overnight for southeastern highlands. 47 in Jackson, closer to 50 maybe in some spots there as you head up the pass. 52 in Driggs, 59 in Dubois, and 60 in Rexburg. For the Central Mountains, from 54 in Stanley to the lower 60s in Salmon and Chalice. And we'll be right there at 57 in Arco and 31 overnight. 60 degrees for most everybody in the Snake River playing today, save for American Falls, where it'll be 59 and in the mid 30s. Here's your local news eight day extended forecast with mostly sun on the way. We go jumping five degrees, six degrees at a time as we head towards 78 by Friday. And then we have a front that's going to push through here, and you can see the definitive change in our temps from 73 on Saturday right there to 59 on Sunday with a one in three, you know, 40% chance of a, of a storm pushing through. We'll keep it in there for Poker. Tello as well, but you're on a ramp up into the 80s by Friday. It'll be in the mid 70s for Saturday and then a one in three chance of a storm pushing through. Springtime weather is here, so 60 to 66, 73 and right there at 80 and partly sunny for Friday. Mid 70s with a little bit of a cool down into Saturday and uh, 62 for Sunday with a 30% chance of a shower. Rexburg, you'll feel that insulation as well as we get toward the weekend, but a nice run all the way up into the lower 70s by Saturday and 60 degrees again on Sunday. And there's that sun popping through in salmon. I could see the moon this morning on our sky cam. It was quite delicious. It's like a big thing of cheese up in there. 63, 67, like one of those Holly Farms, Pepperidge Farm packages you get at the mall, you know. 75, 79, some summer sausage. 70 on Saturday and it's going to be 60 on Sunday in Jackson. It's bright to begin the morning. It's coming 50 today. You got a slight chance of a shower just because the cloudiness has not left the building. 26 tonight we will be 70 by Friday, a lot warmer, and then we'll bring in a storm chance in there for Sunday and Monday. Here's your question of the day today, and we would love to hear from you, and this is always interesting. What's a car feature on your vehicle that you didn't